going to make is going to be an eye design. So what I'd like to do is use the eye on, on my model as a unicorn's eye. Um, I saw Miss Rochelle. Um, she did a live once a while back of a horse, I believe, and I just got really inspired. So this is inspired by, by her design mostly. Um, but this is what I use on the job, and it's super quick, under three minutes, and, and I'm done, okay? So we're going to start off with some Superstar White, and I'm using my Flora from uh, Brush from Art Studio, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and outline the unicorn. Vamos a empezar con la base del unicornio en el ojo, okay? So I'm going to turn your face a little bit, close your eyes, and I'm going to start off with the ear, and we're going to go ahead and make a unicorn's face here, okay? So in this flora brush, it helps you really get in there. So este, esta brocha que estoy utilizando ayuda con la forma del unicornio y como tiene la puntita, ayuda para que puedas realmente entrar en cualquier parte de, de aquí de alrededor del ojo. Okay, so that's our base for a unicorn, if you can see. And her eye is going to be the eye of the unicorn. Now, I left the part of her lid blank purposely because I'm going to go in with the sponge. Okay, dejamos en blanco ahí la parte donde está su ojo. Um, de adrede, porque voy a ir con la esponja. Le voy a poner un poquito aquí de, de agua. Y voy a utilizar... Este es uh, Fairy Garden de la marca Tag, okay? Y le voy a poner un poquito de morado oscuro y lila, ¿ok? Y eso se lo voy a poner sobre su ojo. Ahora, um, lo que siempre es importante, para que no se vea muy oscuro, mantener lo más claro arriba y lo más oscuro abajo. So that the eye doesn't look too dark, it's best to do the light on top and the dark on the bottom, ¿ok? So always test it. Make sure it's not too too um, damp there. Sarah from North Somerset. Ooh, hi. From Ireland. Just now, thank you so much for, for tuning in. So close your eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend in the light purple. Okay, and I'm not going to use too much of the dark purple. Okay, vamos a difuminar un poco con la esponja, con el lila y el morado, ¿ok? Nomás le vamos a dar aquí un poquito de color. No va a ser mucho. Ok, um, right now while it's still a little wet, I'm going to go ahead and spritz it with some glitter. Close your eyes. So try that a little bit. Ok, so we've got some matching glitter there, some iridescent um, purple glitter. And then next, we're going to go ahead and do the unicorn mane. So vamos a crear ahora la melena del, del unicornio. Y vamos a utilizar esta brocha. Es de la marca Protégé. Es tres cuartos. Es plana. Y tiene más cortitos aquí los, los cabellitos. So this is a, a three quarters flat Protégé brush. And as you can see, the bristles are a lot shorter. So personally, this is a game changer. I feel like it, it really... Um, I don't know, it, it helps me a lot with my one strokes. And my model loves teal and turquoise, so we're gonna go ahead and do this teal and then the light lilac there. And we're gonna load it up. Ooh, you see that's a little wet, so you don't want that to happen. Make sure you squeeze off the excess water, and I did. So I'm gonna try again here. This is why it's important to test. You wanna test your paint before you go in, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and test it right here. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna create the unicorn's hair. And I'm gonna start here at the top. Vamos a empezar acá en la esquina. And I'm just gonna stamp it down and swoosh it up, okay? Okay, so that's the top of the hair. Now, don't be afraid to reload. If you see that your brush got a little dry, don't be afraid to go back in and reload. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're reloading here. And then now I'm going to go and do the other side of the mane, okay? So you can turn your face a little bit. So we're going to start off right here with the turquoise on the top. And we're going to bring it in. And another one. Bring it in. And another one. And bring it in, okay? So we've got the unicorn's hair from the top and the side right there, okay? Next, 
I'm gonna grab, I have my half inch uh, protege. This is, esta es la brocha de media pulgada de la marca protege también. Y voy a agarrar aquí un poquito de blanco y rosita, okay? So it's pink and white. This is just a homemade um, cake that I did with some superstar white. And I believe this one's, I wanna say bubblegum pink, I'm not sure. But it works really well for the unicorn horn. So we're gonna do um, three little marks up here on the top. So I'm gonna go, so you can see it well, we're gonna go one, two, and then three, slightly smaller. So if you can see that right there, we've got the unicorn horn, we've got the base of the unicorn, and we've got the hair, okay? So now, since we have a little bit of time, we want to spruce it up a little bit. I'm going to add a rainbow. Le voy a agregar un arco iris del otro lado para que esté más bonito el diseño. So we're going to grab, this one is Neon Cotton Candy from Krivelin and my three quarter inch flat here. And I'm just going to do a little rainbow on this side. That way. So I'm just going to go like that. All right, so we've got the neon rainbow on that side. Let me spritz it with a little bit of glitter using some neon yellow. Close your eyes. And there we go. Okay, so while everything else is drying, I'm going to grab a stencil. Ahora vamos a agarrar una plantilla. Ahora, eso es lo bueno de este unicornio. Si fuera, um, vamos a decir que fuera de la, del tema Frozen, ¿verdad? Entonces, la melena sería azul. Y acá le pondría también un arco iris azul. Y le pondría entonces uh, snowflakes. Nada. Be quiet. Sorry, my dog. But since it's a, a, a unicorn, a magical unicorn, I'm going to do some stars. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my stencils here. And I'm going to use, this one is a, uh, it's a BAM, BAM 1037. I'm going to use this right here, okay? So, esto es de la marca BAM, y es el número 1037. Watching with Aww. my three-year-old. Oh, thank you so much. Yay, we love little ones. Um, I had Miss Allie Rose with me live last um, Friday, so maybe I'll bring her back that way. Um, you know, we can have the little ones that stay at home with mama. We know how that is. We, we, got, we were very privileged to stay at home with our little ones. And now they're in school. And so now we stay with each other. <laughs> okay, so I got my finger dauber with some Superstar White. And I'm just going to make sure it's not too, too wet. And I'm going to grab this part right here, okay? We're just going to frame the eye this way. Close your eyes. Just going to dab it on with the Superstar White. And this stencil, you guys, it's awesome because it automatically frames it for you. You don't have to do a lot of thinking, okay? Like, it does most of the work for you already. So if you can see, it went all the way around and that was hardly any effort, okay? Next step, we're gonna outline a unicorn. Ahora vamos a delinear el unicornio. Y este es negro de la marca Wolf con un pincel redondo. Número tres de la marca Low Cornell. This is a number three round Low Cornell brush and wolf black. Okay, make sure it's loaded good. Make sure you've got a nice consistency there. Make sure it's nice and round. So I always like to start off with the horn. So I'm just going to take it in and go in like that and then do that going down. Okay, then right here I'm just going to kind of frame it a little bit. All right, so then I'm gonna reload because the more I talk, the faster this brush dries. But typically, like I said, three minutes would be what I would take. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the unicorn's mane. Ahora vamos a ir la melena del unicornio. Now the ear. Ahora vamos a delinear el oído. And I'm gonna bring it in with the curl, okay? So we've got the horn, the hair, and the ear so far. Now I'm gonna finish off the rest of it over here. And I'm just gonna start underneath the ear 
bring it in once, bring it in twice, and then a third time, okay? And then if you want, you can go ahead and finish it off like that. <laughs> now, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish outlining the unicorn and give her some eyelashes. Ahora vamos a terminar de delinear el unicornio y darle un poquito de pestañas. Go ahead and close your eyes. Don't forget the nose. No se les olvide aquí la naricita. Con las pestañitas. Close your eyes. And then we're going to go in and frame the eye, okay? All right. So then there you go. We have the unicorn. We did the rainbow over here. Now the next thing I would do would be add some glitter. So let me get some glitter gel really quick. I left it over here. Okay. And I have some really pretty iridescent chunky glitter that I um, mixed it with Vaseline and I'm just gonna apply it over. Hola desde Ciudad de México, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros el día de hoy. So the good thing about having the glitter with the Vaseline is it doesn't really smear. So I'm just gonna apply it over like that. Now good luck getting this off of your face, okay? <laughs> And have glitter. I'm gonna go get my rodeo tickets like this. Yay! Yeah, so uh, Friday the 14th, we're going to the rodeo. Woohoo! No kids. So we're gonna turn her this way. I'm gonna add some glitter right there. And then some glitter underneath. Right there. Okay. So then that's it, you guys. That would be our unicorn. I would add some lipstick. I don't know if you want lipstick. Do you want lipstick, mija? Yes. Please. Sí, vamos a pintarte los labios. So my my model wants her lips painted there. So let's go ahead and do some lipstick. And we'll do pink. Oh, there it is. Yes. There it goes. Okay, so this is just lipstick, you guys. This is what I've been using lately. And then, of course, I dab it on with a cotton swab to make sure that it's hygienic, okay? So we're just gonna load it up and pray that I don't go out of line here on her lips. <laughs> so let's see here. Worst case scenario, she's got bigger lips. And it's just subtle, you guys. It's not like, okay, let me add some more. <laughs> Argentina. From Argentina, ooh. Ya eres internacional, mija? <laughs> So I'm just adding some lipstick, and this is just our final step. This is, este es nuestro paso final. Vamos a agregarle aquí nada más labial. Okay, just put your lips together. And there we go, guys. We're done. Ya estamos listos. Este es el que más me piden en fiestas. Las niñas es el unicornio. Y lo mejor de todo es que se puede hacer de cualquier manera, con cualquier color. Um, pueden hacerlo si quieren... Frozen, o si quieren como de sirena, le ponen aquí una plantilla con las escamas de sirena. Um, it's very versatile. I really hope that you can use it too in uh, your next event. Thank you so much for watching our live today.